After a week unlike any we have ever seen in Austin, things are slowly starting to return to normal in the capital city. 11 and 2. The friendly confines of the Irwin Center. Here is Leon Collier one on one and Aoka Lee. Kansas State has really mastered this 2 3 zone. Collier has that pass intercepted, was looking for Audrey Warren. Rough start to the game for Texas. There is the three ball from Rachel Ranke, one of the greatest three point shooters in program history. So it's leaving the paint open. If you're Texas, how do you counter? How do you respond to that? Well, you have to pick your battles, right? Are you going to take away uh, shots as you see Charlie on the offensive boards? Her first offensive rebound for the game. Jada Moore down low, wide open underneath is another Wildcat. That has been the story of the first quarter. And then you have your four other players uh, shifting and rotating. Lambert, Texas desperately needed that one from Kyra Lambert. Go into the rim. Charlie Collier didn't get many shots. They try to feed it to Lauterbach, couldn't handle it. Here comes Texas back the other way, three on three with Lambert trailing as well. Ashley Chevalier over to Audrey Warren, pull up jumper in the paint. Around 21 to nine, I believe they outscored Kansas State at in Kansas. There is Emily Everett with the steal, chased by the freshman Chevalier. There's a turnover forced by the Wildcats and Texas outscoring Kansas State 14 to eight in this one. The Wildcats lost the handle and Chevalier all, all alone on the other end. The freshman capitalizing off the turnover. So the Wildcats, third best field goal percentage defense in the Big 12. Lambert wide open from the wing and buries it. Her second tray of the day. Guard position. I see Joanne Allen Taylor on the bench again. She has those four fouls, so Ortiz back in the game. Kansas State needed that one. Christiana Carr, team leader, now with 41 threes on the season. Care of the ball and with ball control, it can be effective. Carr lobs it over Collier, and that was just too far for Lee to get a handle on. Back the other way. Oh, what a bullet pass to Celeste Taylor, who takes advantage. So Ayoka Lee is out there all by herself, clear in the back of that bench. Only back there, Charlie Collier with Lee out of the game, going to work in the paint. Play let us do something we love. Hopefully people have some TV and they can watch us play. Absolutely, Texas approaching the final eight minutes. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Banking one off the glass pretty much from the corner. <laughs> and they'll reset the offense, at least momentarily. Oh, they left Lee wide open, but Celeste Taylor with the swipe. Two on one, Taylor keeps it herself and it rolls in. A really nice penetration and pass to Collier. Collier has her 15th double-double. Ranky trying to answer. That is the second one that has shown the bank is open for Kansas State today at the Irwin Center. Longhorns using up some clock. Taylor driving and dishing. Allen Taylor all alone and buries it. Joanne Allen Taylor. Four points off of turnovers, and that has been the difference, forcing the turnovers and converting on the other end. Allen Taylor drops it down low to Collier. One. There are about three defenders there. Texas with 16 offensive rebounds. Lambert gliding to the bucket. Great recognition of going to your dribble drive offense immediately. With a 59-48 victory over Kansas State.